This is part 51 of jQuery tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to increase, decrease and reset font size using jQuery. So here is what we want to achieve. We have some page content here and on the top we have three links. When we click on the increase link, we want to increase the font size. Similarly, when we click on decrease, we want to decrease the font size. And when we click reset, we want to reset the font size to its default size. So let's see how to achieve this using jQuery. Let's flip to Visual Studio. So here I already have the page content. If we view this page in the browser, this is how it looks like. And all this page content is actually present inside this div element. And this div element has got an ID, div content. Now let's style this div element so it looks like this. So within our head section, I'm going to include a section for style. And let's name this style div class. So the first thing that we're going to do is set the font size to 16. So that's going to be our default. And let's set background color to light silver color. And to get light silver color, I'm going to use this color code, E3, E3, E3. And let's also set width for the development. Width is going to be 500 pixels and finally padding of 5 pixels. Now let's apply this div class to the div element. So let's use the class attribute equals div class. Let's save the changes, reload this page and look at this. Now we also want these three links on the top. So just above the div element Let's include this literal text font size. And we want three anchor elements. So a href is equal to hash. And the text is going to be increase. And let's give an ID to this anchor element. Let's call this link increase. Similarly, let's include links for decrease and reset. So here, the text is going to be decrease. And let's change the ID to link decrease. And the link text here is going to be reset. And the ID is going to be link reset. And let's include two HTML break elements. Save the changes. Reload this page. So now the UI is similar to what we see on the slide. So when we click on this increase link, we want to increase the font size. So within our jQuery ready function, let's create another function. Let's name this modify font size. And to this function, let's pass a parameter. Let's name it flag. Now, inside the function, the first thing that we need to do is find this div element, which has got the content. And it has got an ID. The ID is div content. So let's use the jQuery ID selector and find that div element. Let's store it in a variable. Let's name this variable div element. And let's create another variable. Let's call this current font size equals div element dot. I'm going to use CSS function. And we want to retrieve font size property value. So font hyphen size. So this is going to return the current font size value. And let's convert that to an integer. So I'm going to use parse int function for that. So now, within this current font size variable, we have the current font size. So at this point, we're going to check the value that this flag parameter is going to receive. If flag parameter value equals increase then we want to increase the font size. So in that case, I'm going to increase the font size by 3 pixels. Else, if flag equals decrease, then we want to decrease the font size by 3 pixels. So current font size minus equals 3. Else, we want to 
set the current font size to 16 pixels that is to its default size so if flag is increased increase the font size by 3 pixels if it's decrease reduce the font size by 3 pixels if it's not any of those two then reset it to its default size which is 16 pixels because that's what we have specified as the default within our div style class right and then finally what we want to do is find the div element and set font size property so font hyphen size and we want to set it to the value that we have in this variable current font size variable okay so a pretty straightforward function here now we are going to call this function whenever we click on any of these links so when we click on the increase link we are going to pass increase as the value for this flag parameter okay so let's first find the increase hyperlink and it has got an ID link increase so let's use the jQuery ID selector and find that hyperlink so when we click on the link we want to execute a function and within that function we want to call our modify font size function and to the flag parameter we are going to pass increase as the value so if the parameter flag value is increased then we are increasing the font size similarly when we click the decrease link we are going to pass decrease as the value for the flag parameter in that case it's going to decrease the font size by 3 pixels and when we click the reset link we are again going to call the modify font size but this time we are not going to pass increase or decrease instead let's pass reset so if the flag value is not increase or decrease it's going to come to the else block and it's going to set the font size to 16 pixels which is the default size so let's save the changes reload this page and look at this in action so look at this when we click decrease notice that every time we click the decrease link the font size is decreased similarly every time we click the increase link the font size is increased by 3 pixels now when we click on this reset link it should reset it to its default which is 16 pixels so here is the HTML and CSS code and here is the jQuery code that's it for today thank you for listening and have a great day